guys and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so so i'm back with a new video for you guys and this video is all about my big chop yeah my hair's short like baby short and literally i've done the big chop about four months ago and this is how it's going so far and i've done the big chop like a proper shave like i shaved it off i'm gonna insert the video now so you guys can see so as you guys can see from the video literally i went from having hair yeah i had hair to just going completely bold and to be honest it was like a weight had been lifted off it just felt so nice when you just shave your hair it's like you, i don't know it's like a, it's like you're imagine you're like a butterfly coming out of like a um cocoon it just felt like that like the weight had been lifted off and it was like right i'm starting my journey afresh now so i done that the reason why i decided to do the big chop for me was because as you guys saw from the video i had hair but the side of my hair wasn't growing at all and I realised because of I used to do pick and drop back in a day the glues on the actual edges you know the heat it just ruined the hairline I don't know if you guys can see now so you guys can see the bits that are damaged if you compare this side of my hair and this side of my hair this is the worst what like the worst one I don't know if you guys can see and then you compare it to like the back of my hair it's just do you know what I mean? It's so strong compared to the front. So it just got so annoying. Like when I take my braids out from underneath my wig and like I just wash my hair. And you know when you just want to put your hair in the bun and leave it in a bun for like a couple of days till you do a new um, hairstyle. I just, it just wouldn't work. My hairline was so like, it just wasn't there. I knew I had to at least try the big chop and you know, really work on the edges, use all the products and to see if it can grow back properly um, before I ever consider thinking of doing a hair transplant. Because I can't lie, I need to have good hair by the time I'm 30 I need to be my lit is at 30 so I knew one step was making sure I've done the big chop now rather than later because I've, I've heard the lady leave it the less your hair grows I don't know if that's true but that's what I heard so far it's been four months since I've done it and I feel like it's doing really well I use this um to brush the hair to give it the curls as you guys can see the reason why I use this to give the curls is just because I've seen so many people from their big chop um journeys on YouTube use that to style their hair especially when it's growing I'm really excited for when it grows a bit more so I was probably say like six months where I literally can it was thick longer to do the curls so i'm excited so yeah um i just decided to make this step and um, we're just going to show you guys some photos of my journey so far this is obviously how it is right now so yeah it's been like a really good journey so far i am very proud of my edges like honestly i know some is a little bit bitty but i do feel like it will grow with time i just got to be patient about it like I just got to be patient about it. I think I talked about my hair a couple of months ago um, with you sort of explaining how I had this like dark line across my head. So basically from wearing wigs and stuff, I had a dark line and it just really irritated me. It started on it started on this side of my hair and I just thought I must use my hot comb to burn it and it's a burn. But um, eventually it became like a, a full blown line and I'll show you the photos of it so you guys can see it across my head and i just i realized that it was just like a lot of glue and the alcohol i think the alcohol like burnt my skin or something like that because when i was using um got to be spray and gel and ors and stuff like that it never was it, it it just i never had a reaction but i've only started recently using glue consistently um with my frontals so i think that's the case which is you know it's really annoying and um, i just want to update you guys on this because i kept saying it but never really showing it and say i want to do six months i wanted to do six months because i felt like i would have been most confident with having my hair out at six months but honestly like i'm not i'm not upset if i look now i wish this side was a bit longer but i'm not upset and i was able to wear makeup and still feel quite cute so um yeah this is me starting all over again when i wanted to do this journey or whatnot was i was getting so stressed out because i wanted to let my hair breathe so that it can grow but i still had to keep wearing wigs because of collabs and whatnot and i i can't lie because of this dark line on my head now it's so hard to wear closures because that means i've got to pull it all the way forward and even if i've done a natural one you know where you can customize the closure i've tried them it just didn't work and for me because of the line i had to pull my i've got to pull my hair forward so you can literally hide it so it's so hard doing work being so used to wearing wigs but still trying to keep in the back of my mind okay you're not supposed to wear a wig so you can let your hair breathe frontals take like so much of your getting ready time 
and just the effort of having a wig on at night time sometimes is a bit is long and I just got so tired of it and I was just like do you know what I need something where I can still wear my wigs whilst I do work whilst my hair's growing but still be able to take it off at the end of the night without having to do that process of taking your wig off and I thought after a while the feeling of just pulling it off your skin is just it just got really irritating so I just want to show you this product it's called wig fix and it's honestly been such a game changer that's why I just felt like it made sense to share it with you guys in this um, um, big chop journey video so this is the band so it has these dots like rib dots on it and literally you pop it on your head like you would like a wig cap and literally you pop your wig on and it just fits it it keeps it in place i know it's really good for closures as well sometimes with closures i know the elastic on the back can be a bit tight sometimes and you're not feeling that like security this is why this bad boy is a game a changer they've just been the biggest lifesaver honestly every day about to do some content i've got a Put glue the wig on it's all long it's all long and i ain't got time for that i want to demonstrate it to you guys and show you guys my new wig as well so i can leave the details for this and my wig for you guys down below because these are things that have been probably the best things to come by during quarantine so i've just added my wig cap on top now quickly and i just want to show you how quick this process is you literally just pop this on your head like so it already feels secure and what I love about it is the fact that it grips on very well. If you want as well, you can put foundation on the actual band, but I don't feel like I need to. And I'm just going to apply my new favourite wig on top just to show you how easy and convenient this has been for me. I took out some of the um, beads in my hair just to show you guys. This is how easy it is, guys. Like, I've literally just popped the wig on. It feels so secure, especially for these kind of hot nights. I want to take my photos quickly and I don't want to have the effort of having to glue the front or down or glue my wig down or just you know anything this just gives me that security that i need if you guys use my discount mariam 10 when you guys get your wig fix you guys will save 10 percent off so yeah i definitely recommend this for you but so far that is just what's been going on with my hair and um, you guys saw the journey you guys saw some photos and um i'll be doing an actual hair care routine so i'll reveal all my secrets in that hair care and um, routine i don't think i've got anything spectacular but i'd love to share you guys and show you guys what i've been doing to keep it healthy and hopefully you guys can also give me some tips in that video as well but i just really want to just you know show you guys the journey so far and then um show you guys a kind of new product that has just been so helpful whilst doing the hair journey and also just being in quarantine at the moment just you know what i mean so yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed you definitely will be seeing more of me with my hair my natural hair and um, updating guys with the journey and stuff um, i'll see you guys very soon and um, thank you so much for watching and bye